You know those shitty clickbait full gameplay videos where you watch them and it's like... Boom! What up, Solo? Renekton and only here back doing some more League of Legends action. I'm playing some. Darius up in the top lane. Uh, we're going for that Triforce build, the new build. Well, I'm sick and tired of them, so with this video, I'll be raising the bar a bit. Oh, yes! If you want to improve at League, the best thing to do is refine how you play in the first 10 minutes of each game, since that's where you have the most influence over what happens. So I'm going to record some of my games while I do commentary, and at the key moments throughout the first 10 minutes of the game, I'll make pauses to try and explain my thought process and decision making. The thing is, I'm only a high diamond player, so I'm nowhere near perfect, although I am decent. So if I spot any of my own mistakes, which I definitely will by the way, I'll not only point them out, but I'll also show you how I found my mistake. That way, if you ever watch your own gameplay, you'll be able to find your mistakes just like I do here. Also, I just want to say that this game was played on a Plat 2 Smurf account. I don't condone smurfing at all, I think it's really dumb, but I tried doing commentary while playing on my main account and let's just say... Yeah, that was not the move, man. The video still has the same educational and entertainment value either way, though, so don't worry too much about it. In this game, I was playing Zoe vs Zed, and after playing the first few waves perfectly but still managing to mess up and die, I was able to play really well from behind so I could come back into the game and still be really useful to my team. Also, if you like this idea, please let me know in the comments or just, like, like the video, because if this video does well, then I'll probably do more of them, and if it doesn't do so well, then I'll just move on to something else. So yeah, let me know what you think. Alright, let's get into it. You're welcome! What's up guys? Hello boys, I'm in a pretty good mood right now. It's like 11, 11 p.m. I just randomly got like loads of energy to just record a game, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I should I should have given an intro to what I'm like planning to do before this, um, like while I'm editing. But the thing is, I don't know what I'm going to talk about while I'm actually playing. <laughs> like, if I'm going to be like discussing everything as I pause and stuff, like I don't know what to really talk about while I'm playing. I don't know. Just talk about daily life, I don't know. I was just watching some skateboarding anime, that was pretty cool. Now I'm playing League and I'm gonna like ruin my good mood. <laughs> That's something against Zed. Now the thing with Zed is, Zed is like, he's pretty cancer to play against, in the sense that if you die once, the game is just over. But if you don't die once, then it's not too bad, like you're just chilling. You're just chilling at like level 6 if it's even. But if you die before level 6, then oh my god. It is just so sad. Alright, so this is the part where I pause the game and explain what I'm going to do. Also, this pen app thingy is the best thing I've ever downloaded, by the way. <laughs> no, this is a mature and clever video. We will not be making any... Any pe any pe any penis jokes. No penis jokes. First things first, you want to think about your lane opening, or in other words, exactly how you're going to play the first three or four waves. In this case, I'm playing a mage versus assassin lane, so my lane opening will be based on that fact. As a mage, if you have more wave clear than the enemy, your goal early on is to push the wave into them slightly faster than they're pushing it into you. That way, you can hit level 2 early without crashing the wave into tower too soon. Since Zed is an assassin with no wave clear early, all I need to do to push it into him is auto the minions a couple of times to get it pushing initially and then last hit them to keep the push consistent. My goal in the lane is to do that while I poke him as much as possible with Q and his goal is to avoid being hit by my Q and just let the wave come into him and chill. So as you'll see here that's what I try and do. See so yeah, I don't know. Uh, anti Z gang where you at? Yeah I'm just trying to poke him here. Got to make a make use of my range advantage, and now I've taken more poke. Nice. He started three pots as well, oh, which is just. Now that I've got my push going, I need to work out when I want to crash it into tower. To do that, I need to know where the enemy jungler started, because crashing a wave into tower causes it to push back into you. In this game, about 20 seconds ago, I saw the enemy Wukong go to top lane from river, which means he was leashing at the enemy blue. Since both junglers are starting on opposite sides, they're going to be going for opposite scuttle crabs, so I won't need to help Fiddlesticks out with anything, and I can crash the second wave. After I crash the second wave, the third wave will push back into me, and then I can set up a freeze here, and at that point, the is pretty much over. So to achieve that, I start pushing the second wave as quickly as possible. Annoying. Ha! Oh my god, I just missed so many minions. That was pretty good. 
getting some good poking. Okay. That was pretty solid uh, first couple waves. I got pretty good poking. So now as you can see the wave is pushing into me and all I need to do is last hit the minions and yeah we'll come in here and I'll be able to set up a freeze. Yeah, you gotta avoid those those combos. It's kind of just like when he walks forward, you just need to be you just need to be ready for it, and it's like you'll do fine. I cancelled it. So this is where it gets dangerous, right now. This is where the lane gets decided. Do you fuck up and walk into one of his combos? It is lost. Especially now he's level four. Okay, now I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna chill now. I guess uh, Fiddle doesn't want to go for the crab for whatever reason. Okay, obviously I got hit by it, but it's not too bad. Fuck! Damn it! Watching that makes me cringe so hard. I can't believe I did that. But yeah, I mean, the lane was won, as I said. Like, I was in a great position, and then I obviously made a mistake. But the thing is, right, what do you actually think the mistake was? I feel like if I ask this question, most people will probably give the wrong answer to what they think the mistake was. Uh, you can pause and try and work it out if you want. But I feel like a lot of people would have said in that situation that my mistake was not using my flash, which, you know, would be correct. Like, if I did flash, I probably would have won the fight. I easily would have won the fight. I would have been able to dodge any spell, and I would have got my W passive and I would have killed him easily. So it was kind of a mechanical misplay. But if you're looking to get better, those aren't the kind of mistakes you should be looking for. A lot of lower ranked players, when they're looking for their own mistakes, will think about what they could have done to get out of a situation that they got themselves into when they should be thinking, how could I have avoided this situation to begin with? In this case, my mistake was walking up to fight the Zed in the first place. All I needed to do was chill and let the wave come into me, then set up a freeze and win the lane off of it, as I said before. But instead, I walked up and tried to fight which obviously I shouldn't have done, I just needed to chill. So even though one mistake I made was a mechanical misplay, the actual mistake is even fighting him to begin with. The takeaway here is, when looking for your mistakes, think about how you could have avoided the bad situation you got yourself into, instead of how you could have gotten out of the bad situation once you were already in it. But now the question is, how do I come back? The game is actually still very winnable, even though it looks completely doomed. So if you want to learn how to carry games from behind, then hey, you're lucky you clicked this video, that's all I'm going to say. I need to cue him. So fragile. Yeah. I limit tested a bit too hard there. I'll show you how to come back now, you know? <laughs> Keep the vibe up. Keep chilling. I'll try and try and come back in this game and, you know, be decent. First step, I guess. See what I can do on this freeze. I doubt I'll be able to do much, but... There is kind of a chance to turn the lane here, because, I mean, if I just win, like, one trade, I can also try and roam up. I think I'll try and roam. I don't really want to... Okay, obviously not ideal, but... Yeah, there you go. That's a good trade. Now I've gained back some control within the lane. Essentially what happened was, after Zed killed me, he was low on health, so he had to back before he could break the freeze. So when we both got back to lane, he had to use his shadow along with his full combo in order to break it. Once he had used his shadow, I could go in and take a free trade, and now because he's low, I'm back in control of the lane, and I can try and influence the map somehow. So in short, when you fall behind like I did, you need to wait for an opportunity for your opponent to make themselves vulnerable. In Zed's case, it's wasting his W and then take a good trade to get back control of the lane. I'm still not fully in control of the lane though, so let's see what I do from here. So now, if I can crash this, I can go for a roam. Okay, now I have to uh, do something with this kind of chance I've created. Bot lane is very like, oh, what the fuck. Okay, I mean, that's just annoying. 
Sadly, the Elise was waiting around the corner, so I couldn't do anything with the small chance I had. But Zed did miss a few minions, and now the wave is pushing back into me. So now I'm in a position where I can get a bunch of farm for free and not fall too far behind. I mean, Zed actually missed like quite a few minions for that. And the wave is obviously not ideal, but I mean, I can just be careful. Okay, now he's six. So, um, what? What health, man? Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna just farm this. I predicted that, which I almost tried to. And because the wave pushed back into me, I could take a nice trade, and now he's low on health and he has no way to get it back. So now I'm in position to stage a comeback. I almost tried to predict that. An enemy has been slain. Hey, I hope you don't mind the intermission before I talk about this, but damn bro, this game's crazy, I swear. You go for one all in and the whole mafia shows up. Like, what is this? They got the enemy jungler, the bot lane, they even TP'd. Like, god damn, I know I'm sexy, but what the hell? So I got the solo kill. Solo bolo. But sadly, the enemy bot lane came and killed me anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. In this position, a lot of players would probably look at what happened to me and blame my bot lane for it happening, right? Yeah, I know you would. Don't try and hide it from me. Like, come on, man. But what if I told you that it's actually a good thing that their bot lane came up and killed me here. Just wait and see what happens because of this and you'll understand what I mean. Reactively, but I just tried to like predict. I'm gonna buy boots here I think, rather than lost trap here. Good job by a bot lane. Yo, this Samira skin though. Ooh! Hey bro. <laughs> Something else is rising and it's not my death count. That's all I'm saying boys. That's all I'm saying. Nyom. <laughs> I can't believe that didn't hit him. Okay, so he doesn't have ult. So I still want to be careful though. <laughs> so bad, man. Wukong. Yeah, Wukong does like to roam, doesn't he? True, true. Oh uh, yeah, he's trolling. Has been slain. You have slain an enemy. I can't reach that. An enemy has been slain. And boom. I 
fight breaks out in the river and we win. Why do we win? Because my bot lane roamed. Wait, so where's the enemy bot lane? Walking out of base still. So why are they walking out of base even though my bot lane is already at the fight? Because while the enemy bot lane was roaming mid to kill me because I was pressuring the Zed that first blooded me, my bot lane was shoving out their waves so they could get the first reset. So it's not like I just got lucky here and my bot lane was better than the enemy bot lane. This is just one of the consequences of me winning lane after I died at the beginning. Even if the fight in river didn't happen, the fact remains that my bot lane had pressure over the enemy, so they could walk up and gank mid, or invade, or do anything they wanted. Anyway, at this point I now have a huge lead over Zed, and I just need to use it to apply pressure and win skirmishes and fights to close out the game. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Sick, bruh. Yo, my bubble bounced. <laughs> Calm down, lads. Jeez. They want me. Damn, why is you? Almost that. Let's go. First turret as well. Oh. Is that is that is that is that is that is that? Yes. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> that was close. Not scared at all. Yeah, they're just, they're just casually like 3 2 teaming. Their veins doing pretty well to not die though, you can't lie. I'm gonna make it my personal goal to kill this vein. Dead? No, the shield. I can just want to sweep up. Because, like, you know, if you're behind. Yes. That was a really awkward fight. Oh, you're all thin ice. <laughs> you're all thin ice. You're a fight flash. Oh, God. No way. No way. Oh, my God. <laughs> no way. What the fuck? I'm ruining my vibe, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lived for too long. I know I had to end eventually. Oh my god. Okay. Yo, fiddle, fiddle, fiddle! He's coming in huge! Okay. The Zonya's, not really sure what that does. No way. Yo! Yo, he dodges the play? Dodges the play? Oh, the hook! What did I just watch? What the fuck was that? Oh, I'm 
Oh, I'm out of there, by the way. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. Fiddle! <laughs> He's just getting red! Oh shit! Oh my god, this guy's cracked. Bro, I played that fight so badly though. It's just a really awkward position, because I had to burn Flash and Zonia right at the beginning. And my Q was used, my E was used, like everything was used. That was a really awkward fight. I could have definitely played that like so much better though. I don't really know what to do as an outro, so yeah, thanks for watching uh, in a bit.